Hi guys, it's Jen here at Checker Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Star Wars Shattered Empire Comics by Marvel um, from 2015. This is issues 1 through 4, which is the entirety of this series. And it also, um, it is written by Greg Rucka, and I will post the illustrators down below because they have names I can't pronounce. Um, this also contains Princess Leia number 1, which is written by Mark Wade, and Star Wars uh, number 1. For, it looks like it's from the 70s. I didn't actually see a date on it. Um, but it's just novelization or comic version of the first movie, A New Hope. Um, and that script editor in there is Roy Thomas. So the tagline on this is like Journey to the Force Awakens, and that's really what's going on in Shattered Empire. Um, these take place right after Jedi ends, like Return of the Jedi ends. And they introduce this new character of Shara Bay. Um, who's this really awesome female fighter pilot for the Rebellion, and it follows her perspective of what's going on afterwards and how it influences her. And she's kind of this minor character, like just a Rebellion fighter, um, who isn't one of the big guys. Like, she interacts with Luke and Leia and Han, and we see Chewbacca and R2-D2 and 3CPO. And Lando. So like they're all in here but it's following her perspective mostly and it's so cool um, to just introduce that new character. How she fits into the bigger um, Star Wars universe and the scope of things is really cool. Um, which I won't spoil for you guys although pretty much right away we find out who she is. Um, but this starts off with like the Empire being defeated only apparently nobody told the whole Empire so they keep Fighting. The rebellion has got to keep, like, there's Shara. There's Shara. Shara. I don't even know how to pronounce her name. Um, so the rebellion has to keep fighting when they thought they were done and they had, like, their celebrations and, um, they're, like, still got to defeat these holdouts. And it really is much more of a personal, like, everyday kind of thing. Like, Shara and her husband are trying to decide, do we keep fighting? Like, they're both fighters for the rebellion. Do we keep fighting or do we go home to our son? Do we have a normal life? And their decisions about like that. And the fact that they're they're not even in the same company, so like they don't even see each other that often. Like they'll see each other for like an hour every couple weeks or something if they're lucky, and it's such a a humanizing way to view the Star Wars universe when it's not the hero, when it's not, you know, following Anakin becoming Darth Vader or following Luke around. And I just love the way, the role that she plays in all this and like how she just is very pragmatic and we get to see her interact, especially with Princess, especially with Leia and the Queen of like Naboo and everything. Um, so definitely some girl power going on here, which is about time in the Star Wars universe because normally we got one girl and that's it. Um, even in The Force Awakens, Rey and Leia didn't have much time together. Like, it was one or the other. So, it's cool to see females interacting. Crazy thought, I know, right? Um, and it's cool to see, like, how everybody kind of respects her and how she plays these big parts and everything that's going on. And there's lots of, lots of, lots of Star Wars stuff going on here. They start off in Endor, um, Go to Naboo. There's another planet in between. I don't remember which one it is. Frank, I don't know if it matters. Uh, lots of space stations. Um, it's cool. So just the continuation. And what's going on. How the Empire gets to the point they are in a Force Awakens. So trying to fill in that gap. Not all of it though because this is only like the immediately after bit. Basically you should read these because Star Wars. Um, I liked not knowing what was going to happen, so I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it does just expand the universe way more, and I liked this perspective. And it's very, very humanizing, which I said already, but it's true. Um, and then the Princess Leia comic is the just the first comic of another series, and it takes place immediately following um, the first Star Wars movie, A New Hope. And it's Leia dealing with... Alderaan and grieving um, for her planet being gone and her family and she deals with another Alderaan um, person 
and how their perspectives are different from being the princess who's trying to lead the rebellion versus just a rebellion fighter who has just lost her whole planet and how they deal with that and decide to um what needs to be done for their planet and their culture and then the last one is there's a single the first comic for the star wars and this is just a serialization of the movie the first one um so just a new hope and it's pretty much scene for scene what happens in the movie um i will say that luke looks really weird in here like he's trying to be some 80s uh comic book here superhero like he-man or something and it looks weird because that's not what luke in the movies looks like especially if you're literally just gonna draw the movie out so i don't know why they reinterpreted luke um and even though i knew what was gonna happen it's still fun to read this comic and yeah the only downside about it is like where it cuts off and i'm like no I love that scene. That's like my favorite scene. Like, can we can we get to it, please? Um, maybe not my favorite scene, but like, it's one of my favorite scenes. Can we please see that scene? Shattered Empire does a good job of keeping in line with what's going on, kind of in the movies, and keeping that tone that's going on with that humor um, and all the space adventure stuff that we love. Um, so many ums. <laughs> anyway, if you love. Star Wars and you love comics, you should definitely read the Shattered Empire ones, especially if you want to know what's happening with the Empire. Like, why did they get to the point where they are? And I really want to know what happens next with, like, these characters, too. Um, so hopefully there's more of the filling in the gap. It's, I didn't really research this. I don't know if there are or not. But there you are. <laughs> um, peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.